My name is Janet Hobbs, and I'm a member of NOCA, a North Cambridge group of artists, and I'm a watercolor painter. The works I've selected to show represent work I've been doing over a period of 12 years or so. I've been working in watercolor primarily um, since that time. And the first piece is titled Foundry Boundary. It's of a place in Worcester, near where I grew up. And uh, it was never a very pretty place, yet it was it figured prominently in my the landscape of, of my life at the time. And um, I felt compelled to paint it. Uh, the second piece I selected is titled Dream the Escape. And I teach watercolor classes and try to come up with various approaches to working with my students. And one idea I had was to create a collage and it's fun to create a, a collage from various magazine materials. You never quite know what you'll come up with. And this image uh, started to develop from a window that I found in a magazine. And, and as you can see, various um, landscape elements. And I enjoyed, again, uh, using watercolor to create the various textures that are in the painting, the softness of the cloth and the um, texture of the rock. I also enjoyed the um, swirling nature of this painting because it is like a dream. You don't know which end is up. And the last painting that I chose is of uh, a simple still life set up, but I decided to really use a limited palette. That's when you only use a few colors to, well, in this case, mix grays. And I really enjoy painting with um, a good strong light so that you can get nice shadows uh, in a painting. This also has the warm colors of the, um, the fortune cookie and the chopsticks, which add a nice complement to the blue of the painting. One interesting thing for me in this painting is that I, as I was bringing it to my watercolor class to show to the students, it was raining and some rain spattered on the lower part of the painting and washed out a bit of it. And I think that was a lesson to me that uh, not all the edges have to be perfect. And it was actually an improvement on the painting and I decided to leave it. In teaching art, I really enjoy encouraging students to use lots of different materials and to become familiar with many different materials. I also really enjoy uh, uh, letting children feel confident and also I want children to be able to feel that they can make things out of particularly recycled materials. I love using recycled materials and um, I, I feel too that some children don't have materials, art materials at home and they might feel limited by that, but if you know that you have some crayons and some cardboard and tape, you can usually make so many different things.